Okay, so um, now we'll compare how the hashing algorithm impacts the speed with which our password is being cracked. Now, this is something that is implemented by the author of the application on the server side, um, often based on the configuration. Uh, it's not implemented by user in any way, but just that you know how, how things can really depend also on the author of the application. Why it's good to have a strong password because maybe author of the application wasn't so thoughtful or the application is really old. So we'll compare MD5 and Bcrypt hashing algorithms. Let's start with MD5. Yeah, and we see it basically blasted through, through all the combinations of seven letters and cracked our password. So you can see it here, it's, it's hash hacked. And um, yeah, and you know, that wasn't really, that was a blast on a two years old computer, which isn't really meant for password cracking, it just has a graphic card. Now uh, let's try the Bcrypt thing. Okay, Bcrypt is, is a much more secure algorithm. And the password is the same, uh, hashcat, so it's seven letters. And yeah, we have to wait for it to try smaller combinations. As you can see, even three letters combinations with Bcrypt, that already takes some considerable amount of time. We should look here, time estimated. And he's just trying half a thousand of hashes here um, per second. So, you know, if you compare that to 15 billion that we had with MD5, or 30 billion, actually it gets up to 30 billion with more complex uh, passwords, then that's much better, really. Billion being thousand million. Okay, so we moved to four right now, and the estimated time is is 19 seconds. The speed increased because graphic cards tend to work a little bit better with bigger sets of data. So that's, I believe, why uh, the speed is bigger, but it's still 22,000, 23,000 combinations per second, not 30 billion combinations per second. Yeah. So I think the estimates are not really working that well here for small sets. Okay, for five, five very short password, five letters, and the attacker is in a comfortable situation that he, he can assume that it's just letters. It's already eight minutes that is expected to last. Let's, uh, yeah, let's don't wait eight minutes. Let's skip to six. So six, again, a very short password still, uh, and a very not complex, very easy, just letters. That's almost four hours. And Hashcat, the one to which we were trying to get to is seven letters. So yeah, and for seven letters already cracking this on a two years old PC with, with a graphic card, it's, it just, uh, it's already four days, right? So, um, you know, just because someone configured the machine, the server in a little bit different way, even uh, while we used a very poor password, it really takes a lot of time to um, to crack this. And I don't expect really us to be so lucky that we uh, managed to get to Hashcat within this time. As you can see, especially given the fact that due to optimization, it's just not going AAA, BBBB, and so on, just jumping through different combinations. Yeah, but that's that's the important thing. So you, you can compare previously, we had uh, 15, billion, 15 billion, 30 billion passwords per second. So that's again, 1000 million. And here we have only 23,000 passwords tested per second. So that's, that's like an amazing difference. And even a very simple thing, simple test like seven characters and all um, small letters that will take four days compared to under a second um, on the previous, um, previous MD5 based hashing. So, you know, that's, that's why it's important also that on the server side, the passwords are uh, properly secured. And here a fun fact, actually one of the biggest 
uh, shops in Poland, they had a situation that they stored passwords in Bcrypt, but also in another place, they stored the same passwords as MD5. And obviously when the passwords leaked, um, the attackers just used MD5 to, to crack them. And in this way, there were a million of passwords cracked uh, just because someone used both this and this. And uh, yeah, and it was easier to, to crack MD5 and you could see how much easier really. Thank you.